So the idea is to take um, our seasonal tasting menu that we do at the art school, take it to Aintree and plonk it on the course in Paddock Lodge, which has now been transformed uh, by the interior designers into the art school at Aintree. And so for us it's about bringing our brand of tasting menu which focuses on local, fresh, seasonal, top class ingredients from right on the doorstep, putting our own style and our own service onto it and matching it with world class wines and delivering an experience that matches up with world class horse racing. We have created a few unique dishes just to have at Art School at Aintree and we've named the dessert uh, after Mirabelle Topham who is the original owner of Aintree and of course Paddock Lodge is also known as Topham House. Mirabelle is also the name of a plum, a yellow plum. So we're looking at a Mirabelle Pavlova, a sort of homage to Mirabelle Topham if you like as part of that menu. The excitement in Liverpool when the build-up for this race comes along is it's like nothing else in the world. The first time I ever met Albert Roux, who is my culinary hero, was at the Grand National. And of course Albert was cooking lunch that day and I was a guest and I got to meet him and we spent more time in the kitchen actually than watching the horses. I shouldn't tell everybody that, but, but that's what happened. He was the reason I became a chef. So for me, a great honour that I'm now the person coming to do that cooking uh, at Aintree, having followed in his amazing footsteps. If you want to be at the art school at Aintree, go on the Jockey Club website, have a look at all the hospitality packages. Obviously it's brand new for us this year, first time we're there. Um, we're planning on being there for some time, so do come and join us. A world-class event needs world-class food and that's why we're there, so we want to really show Liverpool in its best light.